This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Shining Force. In the last episode, we uh, we finally finished the Cirque du Soleil of Evil with puppets and other such things, and and found out that Rune Faust pretty much knows about what we're doing and kind of following us, but still doing their own thing as uh, we decided to get on the ship after saving the grandson. But unfortunately, the evil witch, which I don't know if they ever gave us her name. I'll have to look it up if they haven't. Uh, destroyed the ship with evil fire spirits, and we were forced to uh, head north through the mountains to try and find another port to chase after uh, Cain and the Runefaust army. Well, that's not looking good. And then we went to the shrine of Shade Abbey, and uh, inside... There was a bunch of strange men and women who were running around, and bird people, like this person. Yes, yes, you told me about that before, before I egressed out of the battle. Yeah, uh, egressing out of the, or sorry, uh, we went to Shady Abbey, talked to some strange people, then they all converged at the church when we went in as well, forcing us to uh, listen to the sermons, but they were sermons of evil as a, um, a new uh, villain, which I think we've seen him before, he had horns and stuff like that. Um, popped up and told us to die, basically, and uh, all these undead popped up. So, uh, but luckily off screen, I egressed out of there to uh, freedom, freedom. Yeah, no, we still have to do the fight. But uh, the only reason I did this is, uh, well, one, I need to do some level grinding, like I said the last episode, and two, to check out what's in this room because I got locked out last time because the zombie guard there didn't let me. So, um, I gained a few levels for a couple of the folks. Uh, the only person who didn't really gain any levels is Arthur. I'm kind of having trouble getting him some levels. He keeps getting killed every time I, I try to uh, get some levels with him. But anyway, let's read the books before we continue on. Max finds an old abbey record and he reads it. The purpose of this abbey is to prepare the way for a young man who will appear. Huh. So it was. Uh, so I guess this is a clue to figure out that maybe this place ain't going to be all it seems when I get here. Max finds an old abbey record and he reads it. Do you know the truth of the legacy of the ancients? The danger is unimaginable. Max finds an old abbey record and he reads it. The legacy of the ancients was created by the gods who find a fast easel. So they were preparing for me, but that man with the horns uh, took out the uh, residents here and raised everyone from the dead uh, to try and kill me. So, well, that isn't that nice. But, uh, but yeah, it's kind of funny how you can egress from the fight and just... Uh, Everyone still says the same thing, and they're still ready to go, you know, ready to follow me into the shrine to prevent me from leaving, so. Yeah, well, you, know, you gotta be able to find ways to level grind anyway, so. Not that you, well, it depends on how you play. You might be able to go through the game with, like, very little men, enemy, level grinding, and the game gives you enough characters over the course of the game, so you could probably, if you weren't level grinding certain characters, you could probably just ignore them and use the new characters. The, you just have to worry about if you decide not to level grind with anyone, there is a chance that certain characters may just fall behind. But, like I said, you get so many characters in this game that at some point you're going to just eventually ignore characters anyway, depending on your playstyle. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show. This fight's probably, like I said before, the last episode, this fight's probably a really good place for level grinding, especially with how clumped up they all, they all start just like clumping up around. Um, the zombies will clump up to about, I think, here and stop. The skeletons will, I think, go all the way down to this one to attack. They'll come around to this tile to start attacking people down here. These guys won't attack unless someone enters this spot here, I've noticed. So if you stand like here and here, they won't attack so you can just kill them all willy-nilly or range them. But this place is really good leveling for Teo. Like, off screen, I was just... She's already level 9, and she because she gets almost full experience every time I use Blaze 5 on everyone. Or, sorry, Blaze 5. Blaze 2, because I usually wait for all of them to clump up. And uh, if Henri can get a level 2, I don't know when she gets her level 2 spell. I don't think it's for another couple of levels, but if you, you could, this would be another good place to get her leveled up. But, uh, but yeah, the only person who hasn't, isn't at deeper level is Arthur. Everyone else, I think, is at 7 at this point. I think even Chris is at... If she's not seven, okay. I was about to say, if she's not seven, she's really close, so. Anyway, yeah. Um, okay, so. Let's see. I'm trying to keep everyone, like, I'm trying to keep everyone down here before the skeletons, so trying to see if I can, uh, um. 
before they start, uh... Ah, if only Luke was down another level. Yeah, we gotta be careful with, uh... Um, also, uh, I also forgot that, uh, well, not so much the zombies, but the skeletons seem to have a resistant to melee weapons, because, uh, if you punch them with, uh, with any, like, any of their weapons, they tend to do, like, two or three damage. The only person who seems to be getting, like, full damage is Max, and, well, maybe not full damage, but he gets about six. But yeah, skeletons seem to, the skeletons seem to hit the third bar here, um, and then the zombies will go one level down. They, they'll go down to here. So I, think, uh, I guess if I'd move Max here, I wouldn't have to worry. But one of the zombies would go come down there and get it. But, uh, now I can basically, now that I don't really have to worry so much about level grinding, I could pretty much just go on however I need to for the most part. Yeah, May's got a decent amount of defense, so she's she's good. She's she's a, definitely a house when it comes to like taking the damage. Um, I think if I remember correctly, I use May for the rest of the game pretty much. Like there's although there's really no reason not to use her. Oh, there's gonna be a good spot in there, so I'll have to, I don't think Tails tra or I don't think Tails gonna have the movement, but if I get someone down there to hit those skills, that'll do it. Really what you probably wanna do is probably wanna just fire them so you can uh um, because, yeah, well, Luke has a decent amount of attack, and he still did a, only did a, oh, uh, yeah, she's not going to be able to, oh, well, at least they'll weaken the, the Till Skeleton to the front. Um, yeah, you kind of want to need to weaken these guys with magic, because of uh, just how, it's not even a high defense, I think they just have a resistance to melee, melee damage. Gon can kill that guy one and he's level eight anyway, so I'd rather have my level sevens worry about that. Uh, let's see, I'll probably just have her finish off the Actually maybe I might save the, the zombie for for Arthur. Arthur, King of the Britons! Uh, attack, defense. Oh, now she gets Blaze Level 2, so she does get Blaze Level 2 at a... Oh, yeah, and I think, let's see, Blaze Level 2, uh, Low at level 8 got heal 2 as well. Gong at level 8 also got heal 2 as well. Seems like Chris seems to be the fastest when it comes to, like, getting her heal, but she doesn't get, like, detox or anything like that yet, so... Um, okay, you're level 8, so I might leave you off the side. Like I said I probably shouldn't like build or fight the game like this. Like, oh, uh, you know, for purposes of a. Uh, no, I mean I gotta be worried about Ken. Ken doesn't have a. He has the HP, so that means he's good for. Uh, um, Ken's good for. Uh, um, oh, you're all late as well. Ken's good for people with magic because. Magic is, does about the same amount of damage for most player characters either way, but um, but defense helps with with uh, with melee. But it, uh, yeah, magic will go through defense. So if you have high HP characters, so there is a reason to have like one or the other. Although we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough people quite yet for now. Yeah, see, his defense is kind of crappy because he he gets smashed pretty pretty heavily handily every time. What is May's defense? I, I always forget. Now, yeah, hopefully the zombie AI won't take them any further. 19. Okay, that's why. That's why she does very little damage. She got. She's got 19 defense, and Ken has seven. <laughs> yeah, Ken is more of your uh, like HP sponge. Well, May's more of your tank, uh, which is good. You need. You you always need one of those characters. Even with her decent attack stats, she only does two, so yeah, it just means that the. Uh, uh, ah, man, there's no. Hopefully, Gon gets a turn so I can. Uh, or load so I can heal him. Uh oh, he might die. Oh, bye, Ken. Possibly. I ah, these poison, great. That sucks. Oh, I thought. Oh! I could swear you, you could stand there and he wouldn't, he wouldn't attack. 
Uh, I haven't completely figured out. No, no, I don't want to. Looks like it's sand there. Luke can take the hit from both sides. But oh yeah, I found out that I, fa I found out apparently zombies have really high speed because I keep I keep missing when I when I hit them every time. It seems like. Yay! Finally, Arthur might get old this time. Yeah, you need something. Looks like Arthur might be a speed care. Magic? Magic? What? Yeah, apparently Arthur gets magic. Uh, I forgot when he actually gets a. S I think he does get a spell, but it takes forever to get it. I think, if I remember correctly. If I, if I remember, but I don't remember what the spell is. Cause he, he get, I think he gets one. <laughs> But I don't recall what it is. Yeah, I, as much as I played this game when I was younger, I don't remember every single, like, um, character's level progression. It's not like you need a master or anything that I figured out. But, um, yeah, a really good spot would be just to fireball all these guys. The problem is, is that Teo gets destroyed either by the skeleton or the zombie there. As much as I want to, I don't want to... I mean, her dying wouldn't really bug me that much. It would just... Um... Did I... Did I... Actually, is that zombie in front of Luke got hit? I think he did. Oops. Nope. Did he get hit? Nah, I could die. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, we'll go and fireball him. She can she can take one for the team. She's got plenty of levels anyway, so Yeah, very nice. And now we can everyone up to to, to hit the Yeah, see look at that, she's already level ten. Look at that. Speed my that was a really good level for her. Nice speed. Speed's always nice to have for uh um uh for wizards just so they can get out of dangerous situations quicker. And be able, well, actually, I was about to say for I was about to say something else, but I'm like, no, they don't, I don't need it for that. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the skeleton's AI is stuck to either fight me now. Um, yeah, I better step in front of uh, better step in front of Henri just in case. Let's see if I can get Arthur to get the kill from, the, from that zombie. If he doesn't keep missing. Because <laughs> I was trying to do some level grind with some characters. I had to redo, like... Uh, well, I didn't have to redo. I, I, I wasted, like, a ton of time like trying to kill, like, one zombie because I kept missing. I was like, hit them! Exactly. Look at that. Look at that! I think it's... I didn't think they had us. Oh, right. I forgot he's still poisoned. Uh, what is their speed set? For agility, only agility is seven. I don't get why uh, I don't get why I'm missing so much. Well, anyway, well, actually, do I want to detox him? Because the zombie shouldn't kill him. If he gets hit, he shouldn't be killed by the zombie. Yeah, even Lowe's at a decent level at eight right now. Although, I, weirdly enough, I always low tends to keep up pretty easily throughout the rest of the game, despite me almost never using him to kill a, to kill a character, or kill a, um, monsters. I mean, he does every once in a while, but yeah, she's probably gonna die, but that's fine. Yeah, I would... Ah, man. Nah, I don't wanna... Although, I think Chris actually does do a decent amount of damage to skeletons, but I want her to heal, uh... There. I was gonna see if I could try to get her heal, um, uh, Teo, but, uh, nope. Oh well. I, it's not like I was trying to go for a, uh, non death run, although that I lost that a long time ago, especially when I actually lost in the first battle of the game. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did enough, Teo. You're already level 10. You're, you're good on levels for quite a bit. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can get that. Come on, hit. There we go. Whew. I was hoping he actually hit. Although he's probably gonna get killed by the skeleton. 
Skeleton does like a... Oh, good, he's targeting me. Sometimes I can kind of guess where the enemy AI is going to go, and sometimes I, I kind of miss it or figure it uh, like mis misplace like the my thinking on that um, you, it seems like the AI tends to go for the main the, uh, the main character max more often than not oh nice level eight let's see attack nice yeah that's good speed oh yeah the warrior class right I don't know, it might be my I don't know the warrior class is a pretty solid class overall because of their you know, usually they get really good attack stats after a while. Or the wizards. Just because of, you know, ranged attack and all that. Because no one else can do that throughout the game at all. Archers can't do that, only wizards. I think in later iterations of Shining Force games, I think they gave other classes the chance to do multi-damage. But, uh, at least if I remember. But, uh, I'm going to try to just weaken him. Up. Hopefully I can, uh, uh, Ah, I didn't want him to kill him. Oh, well. Like I said, Ar Ar Arthur getting a level, that's... I'm, I'm okay with... I'm okay with my lot in life. Oh, why did I hit him? <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Anyway. So you're level... A, but I want to kind of have you weaken the, the zombies for, like, either Arthur or who... Oh, she does have a level 2 now. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll have uh, Arthur kill one of the weakened ones. does need a level. Well, I guess she doesn't need a level. Um, see, you're good, Luke. No, I don't have to worry about you. Go away. Alright, let's see if we can get uh, another... I should probably hit, hit the one that's level one. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not moving too close for that uh, ghoul to get us. Ah, come on! Uh, like I said, their agility is not that high. I don't know why they keep. Uh, I don't know why they keep dodging. And my agility's better than theirs, you know. So yeah, I I could not even begin to tell you how how that works. Um, I'll admit I've never actually data mined the game or anything like that, so I could not even begin to tell you like how stat growth works, what's the randomized, oh, like, are there randomized, oh, there goes on me, well, you did do enough damage, although it's, oh, you survived, that's surprising, usually wizards can't take the hit, usually they're like, ah, pain, which is like that in D&D too, the class cannons, you know, get a D4 for HP, what do you expect, you might get one-shotted by an orc, or whatever creature you're fighting. That's why wizards stay in the back, and uh, and clerics keep them hale and hearty. I think that's how the song goes. All right, sorry, princess. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. I'm gonna heal you. Actually, I don't even think Henri really ever relegates the. Oh, nice, nice. Oh wow. <laughs> I forgot how often like Gong gets just straight up like ridiculously high attack. Look at it, it's 25 now. But, you know, he never gets any weapons, so there you go. Um, okay. No, I don't want to... want to try and get the level for Arthur. Or at least get May a level or something. Yeah, I'm going to just let her get the kill, because otherwise we're just keep killing my guy, or damaging my guy, so... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Nah. Uh, not a great level. Okay, I'm going to let... I'm gonna see if I can get Arthur to kill. Okay, good. I'm not close enough to. Cause I know Arthur gets a spell, but oh, come on! Thank you. All right, let's finish off the ghoul. Yeah, if I took a little bit longer than I need to, but like I said, I'm playing it weirdly, where I'm just like, oh, I need to get this one person level. Let me try to get him the level, even though. I... Okay, so he's got attack 23, so he's got punch pretty hard. Uh... I am May's the best best person to like try and take a hit from him without getting straight up killed because I think she's got the highest defense out of all of us. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's see. Whoop! Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Let's see what's their defenses like. 
Yeah, no, I mean, Gort's the closest character to, to like, being able to take a hit from or having the defense. Yeah, May's just a, May's a good tank, you know. Although we still got plenty of chapters to go before we find find our like, there's a couple characters we haven't gotten yet that I that I definitely keep on my team, and then there's others that I like to have on my my team, but I uh, that aren't but aren't um, oh, what's the word? They aren't they aren't uh, uh, the most solid. They aren't the most solid characters to use. Because near the end of the game, I start using characters that have unique models in combat as opposed to reskins of other characters and stuff like that. And you'll see what I mean when we, whenever we uh, whenever we get to that. Um, yeah, let me wait till I've moved everyone up there before I start throwing everyone throwing everyone up there. So that way I can just kind of charge on in. And, uh, okay, looks we'll like they don't move yet. I'm gonna see if uh, I'm gonna see if Henri can like ranged attack him. If, let's see where his AI script stops, you know, or his uh, sense. Well, obviously, freeze. They're more of a fire. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember what ghouls like. Ooh, that is not a lot of damage for a, a guy, a race that's supposed to be part, or a creature that's supposed to be particularly weak against uh, fire, you know. I wonder if he heals HP like the marionette from the previous one. Although, he doesn't look like super boss material, so... Uh, probably should go ahead and start... Actually, I was gonna see if, uh... I mean, it might kill Henri or Hans, but I'm kinda curious to see where... where his AI script is. So it stops there. So he doesn't even move. So I could kill him from range. Or at least just weaken him enough. That's kind of... Like I said, this is probably why th this makes this game so easy. Sometimes the bosses won't move, especially if it's a boss that doesn't have spells. So you can just keep wailing on him with the with with characters until uh until you feel like charging in with some melee. Oh come on! Why are ghouls and zombies so fast in this game? They shouldn't be fast at all. Oh well, I'm gonna charge in now. I should ah. No, seriously, do they have, like, a secret stat that I'm unaware of that makes them, like, super dodgy or something? That shouldn't be the case. What is up with this? Did I miss a... Am I... Am I taking crazy pills? I think I'm taking crazy pills. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna get killed if I... Oh, what? Oh, man, I should've just kept ranging him. I don't even why I even let the game have a chance to, to like, hit me, you know? Ugh. Okay, do I want to have anyone else... Yeah, we'll just have these four work on him. He'll probably kill like one or two of my dudes. There we go, at least Luke can hit. Thank, thank you, Book of Luke, you know. Yep, you're oh, you attack why would you attack me? You think you attack Arthur. Alright. Oh, that wasn't much at all. But May's got 19 defense, so I can't be like, oh, that was just a tickle. Well to her it was a tickle. But she is she is the daughter of uh, the guy who taught us, so it makes sense that she would be, you know, gonna combat and all that. Too bad there's really not much more with her character afterwards. If I think if this was made today, um, May would definitely be. Um, I think there. Were, if this was remade, which I think they kind of already did that, obviously with uh, with the GBA one. But I mean, if they redid it with more modern storytelling and all that other stuff, I could definitely see. May having a bigger presence in the story because of her father getting killed and all that. Finally, someone hits. I mean, hit. All right, uh, but yeah, I think I think if it was made with modern conventions today, uh, she would. Yeah, she would definitely have an interesting relationship with the main character Max because of him being taught by her, or him being taught by her dad and her losing her dad. So there'd be a camaraderie there. But it, obviously, story-wise, they'd never go anywhere from that because that's not the type of story they tell. Um, I think, like most stories, most people would probably, if they redid the story, they probably have Henri and the main character Max kind of forming a relationship uh, with it because, you know, how the main characters always end up with the princess or the royalty characters. That's not why I would do if I wrote the story, mainly just to change it up a bit. Anyway, back to the, back to the simple game of Shining Force. I, I am Balboroy. I was turned to stone by Dark Soul when he took the bodies of the dead. Ah, so that's the name of that dude that, that tried to send him at us. 
Oh, well, thanks. All right. Yay! We got our first flying member. Yeah. <laughs> Take this, giant bats. Now we've got our own bird dude to help us out. I will join you to fight Dark Souls evil. Rawr. I don't know if I'll keep that voice for him. Well, actually, he'll probably never talk ever again, so never mind. Then. All right, we cleared out the... Uh, sh uh, we killed up the Abbey, so now, yeah, now we can check around. Oh, hey! Thank you for saving Balboy. Let me go with you so I can two fight evil. Rawr. All right, now we get Amon and Balboy, so two flying units at once. I think Amon's female, I believe. That's why I was trying to make it more fit. If I remember correctly, I th well, they're they're even their unique in-game models are are similar. Well, not exactly similar, but you know. To reach Erbatol, you must go through Boostock. We will guide you there. I will join your friends. Aww. Max and the Shining Force head towards Boostock. Boost Boost what awaits them there? The legacy of the ancients is still a mystery. Will they ever solve, solve it? Thanks for giving me the cliffhanger. In the end of chapter... Uh, we end chapter two, Spirit of the Holy Spring, which was the, the watery tart giving us the Orb of Light. So, looks like we've looks like we've got a name for well, I think the guy's name was given earlier by like Kane or something like that. So, all right, so we've got a name of our villain, and we need to her head towards Boostock and Urbital or whatever to find a ship to chase after Kane. What awaits us in Boostock? A, a host of new characters, uh, some new outfit or new outfits, some new items for our, our group. Is Rufus's dark, slimy hands all over the place everywhere we go? And what about? Uh, and what about that boat? Well, anyway, whatever whatever occurs for the Shining Force, Max and them will head on towards adventure, trying to save the world from the Runefast army. Join me next time as we start Chapter 3 and find out where the Shining Force's story goes next. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.